here's my website which allows you to order pizzas online. For example, let's choose pizza size. You'll see also product options down below here. Pizza base, cheese type, some dipping sauce and some toppings. All the product totals are displayed here. I can even add my personal pizza box message, for example. I open it up, click here, add text, for example, best pizza ever. Select font, save and close, add everything to the cart, go to the checkout, place the order and done. Setting this up takes less than 15 minutes, so if you're interested, then let's jump in. The plugin I'm going to use in this video is called PPOM, that is Product Add-ons and Custom Fields for WooCommerce, this one here. It has a free version, which has more than 20,000 active installations and really good ratings. It also has a pro version, the one you see on the screen right now. The current pricing during the Black Friday week is on the screen. And you'll see that the license for one site is 89 euros. For three sites, it's 139 and for 50 sites is 239 euros. And these are the yearly plans. As you see currently, those are the campaign prices. Then most likely it's the best time of the year to get the deal. Previously, I have made a full tutorial on all the options of this plugin and how to set it up. Therefore, in this video, I'm not gonna cover all the basics of the plugin. If you're interested, then the link to this video is also in the video description. In this video, I'm going to just show you how to create all the conditional fields and options in a way you see here. Okay, now when this is out of the way and the plugin has been installed, then you'll see a PPOM fields under the WooCommerce menu. Open it up and you'll see all the fields you have created before. Now I'm going to create a separate field group and I'm going to attach it only to the product category pizzas. So in order to add a new group, click on add new group. Give the title, for example, for pizzas. Next, control price display on product page. I'm going to select show only options total. That is, only options total will be displayed. There is also an option to display show each options price. I don't like this option because for me, this makes the options total table a bit messy. As you see, you'll see all the options total here. I don't like it at all. So. I'm going to leave it as show only options total. Next, I'm going to add a field. And first field is a media field. That is, I'm going to choose images. Title, choose your pizza size. I'm going to set the image width 100 pixel, width and height the same 100 pixels. Next one, add images. I'm going to upload some images. Those three here, I'm going to upload. Now I'm going to give the selection titles small with 20 centimeters of diagonal big 28 centimeters and family pizza 38 centimeters price for the small is the same as product base price for the big it's 350 and for the family pizza it's 1250 add field let's save it and now one thing i forgot to do is that i'm gonna go to the products categories i'm gonna add a Category pizzas. Add it here. I'm going to add a new product. Give it the title Fantasy Pizza. Short description and base price 6.4 euros. Select the category pizzas. Add a product image. This one here. Publish. View the product. And currently it doesn't display any custom fields. Therefore, I'm going to go back to the WooCommerce PPOM fields and now there are two ways to attach these fields to the products whether to click on this button here attach to products and now you can choose products specific categories or specific tags I'm going to choose category pizzas save it click OK and done the other way is to open up the fields and click on this button here now let's refresh it and you'll see here's our first field okay let's add another field and this time i'm going to choose choices and radio field give it the title choose pizza base add options thin pizza base no price changes another option panini pizza 
at 1.2 euros. And third one is whole wheat crust pizza. And this one adds 4.5 euros. Now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to add the field, save it. And when I refresh the product, you'll see it's here. Now I don't want this to be displayed before someone has selected the pizza size. Therefore, I'm going to open this field, click on conditions. I'm going to enable conditions and now show this field only if choose your pizza size as any value. Now when I update and save it, let's refresh it. You'll see that it will be displayed only if first of the option has been selected. Okay, next one. Let's add another field, add field, choices, and this time I'm going to choose radio switcher. Add a title, choose your cheese, conditions, the same conditions as before, but this time I'm going to choose choose pizza paste, that is, it will be displayed only if something from this selection has been selected. That is, choose pizza paste as any value, now add options. Regular cheese, nothing changes. Mozzarella cheese adds 0 0.6 euros. And soft mozzarella adds 1 euro. Now I'm going to open up the settings. Switcher background color is this reddish one. Marker color is this blue. And font color is white. I can also change font size, price size and marker height. I'm not going to do that. I like it as it is. So add field, save it, refresh it, and let's test. There you go. This is our radio selector. Now, almost there, a couple of fields to add. First of these is one checkbox here. I'm going to give it the title Tipping Sauces. Select conditions. I'm going to display this only if choose your cheese field as any value. Now I'm going to add some options. First is dipping sauce garlic, additional price 0.9 euros. Next one is dipping sauce ranch, the same price. And third one is dipping sauce mild chili. Add field and done. Now I'm going to save fields. And since I'm a bit lazy, I'm going to duplicate this field and change the title to toppings. Under the conditions, I'm Verify whether the conditions are set correctly. That is, choose your cheese field as any value. Now I'm going to add some options. I'm going to delete those two. And I'm going to add some toppings. For example, extra cheese. Kebab for 1.5 euros. Next one, barbecue minced meat for 1.5 euros. I'm going to skip the prices. I'm going to leave those as it is just to show you how easy it is to add all sorts of options here. Next one is ham. Now I'm going to add macra. Next one is minced meat, some champignons and salami. Add field, save it, refresh it and let's test. Works, this works and this also works. As you see, whatever I choose here, the prices will change down below. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Okay, now I need to add an option to personalize the pizza box. In order to do that, I'm going to go to the PPOM fields. There is a manage personalization previews. I'm going to open it up. There are already two personalization options from my previous video, but I'm going to add a new one. Give it the title, for example, pizza box. I'm going to upload my pizza box image. Use this image and it's here. Now I'm going to add a text box, make it a bit bigger. Click here, text box title, add your personal message. I'm not going to set minimum characters, but I'm going to set the maximum characters to 70. Font size is 64. I'm not going to set font family, text color or background color. I'm going to just apply it, publish it. Now I'm going to go to the product fields, open up for pizzas, add a field, search for personalization preview, this one here. Next, let's give it a 
title, for example, personal pizza box message, some description that will be displayed under the tooltip. I'm going to select image, the one I just created, that is pizza box. It's going to open up in the modal, so the modal button text is click here to add a personal message to the pizza box. I'm going to show the tooltip. I'm going to allow choosing font families and set the text alignment. Under the conditions, I'm going to display it only if choose your cheese has any value. I'm going to add this field. Save it. Let's refresh the page and let's test whether it works. So everything seems to be working so far very good. I open it up. Click here. Add text, for example. Best pizza ever. Select font. Save and close. And done. Now. What else you can do here? I already added all the fields I needed to add. Now I'm going to open up the styling and I can add my custom CSS here in order to customize it a bit. For example, I don't like how the product table is displayed down below here. Therefore, I'm going to just add a small piece of code here. Save it, refresh it. And now it displays a bit better and it's a bit more visual. So if someone changes something, then all the prices will be displayed in a more visual way down below here. If you need to tweak any other settings, then go to the WooCommerce settings, PPOM settings, and you can customize general settings, some permissions, restrict file type, label settings, for example, those here. Under the pro settings, you can hide images from the cart, upload images resize proportionally, clear fields after that to cart and so on. There are some price settings for you to override product prices. You can also customize your fields, button text colors, collapsible fields, text colors, field repeaters. Under the style settings, some field label, font sizes, colors, input box customizations, tooltip customizations. There are card edit options for you. Why is this useful? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to go to the card page. And since there is a enable cart edit here, then there is an edit link edit in modal. That is pop-up edit is enabled. I can customize my selection here if needed. Now, one more thing you can add is if we go to the fields, open the fields, add fields, and you'll see there are a bunch of different field types for you to choose. For example, if you would like to add a pickup date to the product fields, then choose this one here. Add the title, select date format, change the first day of the week. In my country, it's Monday. You can disable weekends if needed, set it to required if needed, and you can disable past dates. I'm going to do that. I'm going to allow maximum 10 days after today to use as a pickup date. Once again, I can set up the conditions. I'm not going to do that at the moment. So I'm going to add the field, save it. And when I open up the product, then there is a calendar field here. And in a similar way, you can add a, another field here for the pickup time. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to delete this field. And in order to delete the field, just select it and remove it. Confirm and done. If you need to rearrange fields, then you can drag and drop those here. Everything is finished, so let's say fields, refresh, no calendar field. Now when I go to the checkout page, and if I need to add a preferred delivery date or delivery time custom fields here, then I can just use a small piece of code. I have created a separate video about how to add this type of field on your WooCommerce checkout page. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.